this time I give you the vertex and a point of a parabola, I would like you to write the parabola in standard form. Okay, so the standard form is f of x equals to a times x minus x squared plus k. So using the vertex, here is what we can do. f of x equals to, we don't know a yet, so a remains as a, a and then x minus h squared and then plus k, negative 10. So this is f of x equals to a x plus 3 squared minus 10. Now, how do we figure out a? So to figure out a, you have to use a point. So this point is when x is equals to 0, y is equals to a. So let's change the f of x to a y because that is easier to work with. So we are going to change this to a y and then change this to a y. y equals to a and then a x equals to 0 plus 3 square minus 10. So we solve for a and then this is a a equals to we have a 9a right so we have a 9a minus 10 9a minus 10 so this is a 8 18 equals to 9a then a is equals to 2 so when a is equals to 2 so when a is equals to 2 this is positive that means the parabola opens up all right, so now we got A and then we got the uh, vertex, we can write the standard form. So the standard form is Y or F of X equals to F of X equals to 2 times X plus 3 square minus 10. There we go. And then what is the graph look like? The graph is very easy. So here is how you do the graph. You sketch the X and Y axis. So here is the x-axis, and then here is the y-axis. Where is the vertex? The vertex is negative 3, negative 10. So I will just assume this is a negative 3, comma, negative 10. And then you have a point, which is when x is equals to 0, y is equals to 8. So when x is equals to 0, y is equals to 8, and then this is half parabola and then this is the other half so that's how you sketch the parabola okay let's do the other problem vertex and a point so first of all we write y equals to so y equals to a and then x minus h x minus h square plus k and then using this this is a x e x is equals to 0, y is equals to 2, and then when y is equals to 2, we have a x equals to 0 square plus 3, and then we solve for a, 2 equals 2, this is a 4a plus 3, so we have a 2 minus 3 equals to negative 1, that is equals to 4a, so a is equals to negative 1 over 4. So a is equals to negative 1 over 4. This is negative. That means the parabola opens down like that, opens down like that. As a result, this point is a maximum. And then what about the standard form? The standard form is f of x equals to a is negative 1 over 4, x minus h squared plus 3. All right, let's box that. This is the standard form that we are looking for. How about the graph? So for the graph, you have to graph the vertex first. So here is the vertex. We have two, three, right? So two, three. This is the x-axis. That is the y-axis. x equals to two, y equals to three. And then when x is equals to zero, y is equals to 2, so x equals to 0, y is equals to 2, and then we graph that this is half the parabola, and then this is the other half, so this is a, what, what is this, 2 comma 3, which is the maximum, and then this is a 0 comma 2. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you like the way I explain problems, give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, and I will meet you all in the next lesson, signing out.